All right, it is now only nine weeks to go until the Leadville 100 in Colorado. Uh, low energy day today, so resting, no running, uh, just taking it easy. All right, I've committed to making these videos and dang it, that's what I'm gonna do. So let's firstly quickly recap on the week of running that has just gone by. So it is Tuesday now, a day later than I normally record. <clears throat> Yesterday was a very busy day, which uh, led to my low energy today. But Monday of last week was a good day. I recorded my uh, video and I did 16 miles in the hills, uh, just over here where the sun is setting right now. Better hurry up before the sun goes down. Okay, uh, Tuesday I then did 7.7 .7 miles easy on the road, heading out here towards Canaan Road. Uh, flat and easy in anticipation of a Wednesday. Wednesday I was up in Big Bear Mountain Resort for the day. Mountain biking, let the fun begin. I wasn't sure entirely how that day was going to go, uh, whether I would just spend the day on the bike or whether I would actually uh, do some running as well. So uh, I did try to mix it up, but actually there wasn't an awful lot of running to be done. Uh, I did find a loop on top, uh, but it ended up being only one mile long. Uh, I did run down the hill in the end, but again, that only ended up being 1.5 miles. Uh, and then I did a little bit of running around at the base, looking for a trail uh, unsuccessfully. So maybe you might add another mile or half mile down there. So I'm gonna say three miles of running on Wednesday, uh, four downhill descents, which was uh, very enjoyable. I'd never been at a ski resort turned mountain bike resort before. So uh, the energy expenditure wasn't as high as I thought. So therefore on Thursday, I did a tempo run. Uh, so before when I would have done a tempo run, uh, I would have gone out and run pretty much as hard as I could for about one hour, which is kind of the definition of a, a tempo run, how the pace that you can hold for about an hour. Uh, but my recent readings have said that no, you should break it up into kind of long intervals. Uh, so what I did instead was four by 15 minute hard sessions or intervals uh, broken up by seven minutes uh, of easy jogging in between. But difficult session. Uh, it was around the lake here. So I did, uh, now that I'm a member of Strava, I knew there was a few segments around here. So I did my hard running on those areas where I knew there was segments. So you get influenced by the uh, social media platforms that you participate in. All right, that was Thursday. Friday was an easy run, four miles just around the lake with Claire. Uh, Saturday and Sunday were unusual days. I did, uh, Saturday we climbed Mount Baldy, which is the highest mountain in the greater LA region uh, at over 10,000 feet, yes. Uh, didn't really notice the altitude, to be honest with you, because we really took it easy. We got there early, very, very busy, uh, and we just took it nice, slowly. It was a walking day, so we walked up walked down but still spent about uh, five hours 40 minutes on our feet doing about uh, 11 miles or so good day out really good uh, saturday then on our way back because we stayed over near mount baldy on uh, friday and saturday night so on sunday morning we met up with the socal trail runners and we did an amazing run around uh, echo mountain super super beautiful run amazing view so i'm definitely going to get back over there to take another look at that uh, because it just was mind-blowing uh, that was sunday and then monday yesterday i went out and did 15 and a half uh solid enough kind of around my all day pace of around 7:45 uh, minutes per mile but then i had a lot of other stuff going on yesterday that just left me exhausted today so powering down today and we'll get ready for the week ahead. All right, I'm looking forward to the week ahead. Uh, as I said, today is Tuesday, rest day. Tomorrow, I'm thinking I'm gonna take it relatively easy again, just to really recuperate from quite a long series of days with continuous uh, running, walking, long days on your feet uh, there. So today rest, tomorrow easy, and then Thursday, I'm gonna hit it with another tempo session. Uh, Thursday afternoon, then we are heading up to Sequoia National Park. Uh, and it's going to be spending Friday, Saturday, Sunday uh, up there. So not quite sure how that's all going to play out from a running perspective, but I'll fill you in on that next week. Thanks to everyone who has sent me in information and advice on what I should be doing to reduce my uh, 
stomach issues in these long ultras so I have taken it on board and my kit pack will be amended accordingly. The other thing that I need to take into consideration in the next couple of weeks is my pacers. Uh, I am going to need probably two pacers uh, in addition to Claire. So I have had one person reach out to me already uh, unsolicited and uh, mentioned that he would be interested in pacing. Uh, if there is somebody watching this that would be interested in pacing also, just let me know. Uh, but I have been informed as well that the Denver Fa Runners Facebook page, uh, you'll always find people who are more than willing to come up and pace. But I just wanted to throw it out here first, uh, just in case there's somebody who thinks, you know what, that might be something I'd be interested in doing. Other than that, I'm going to leave it there for this week and I'll catch you all next week. Thanks for watching.